paid your debt back to society, are you punished forever? And uh, I think that there's a lot of people out there that saying that this type of uh, continual disenfranchisement of people who have made a mistake uh, is wrong. Knoxville's only black-owned radio station could go silent. The Federal Communications Commission told the station's owner, former lawmaker Joe Armstrong, that they are moving to revoke his broadcast license. Armstrong's attorney says it's all because of a felony tax conviction back in 2016. 10 News reporter Jacinta Render spoke to Armstrong about the station and how closing it would damage black history in Knoxville. It's for our listeners. It's for all audiences, but necessarily black audiences. People like Felicia Utsi look Birthday forward to, to listening to, to WJBE today, every day. Well, I like Jesus Speaks on the streets, <laughs> um, and I like um, the Gene Thomas radio show. Um, and both of those shows, are shows that basically are for the community. If WJBE goes silent, all of that could go away. The station's owner, Joe Armstrong, is fighting to keep WJBE, a place that he says he's been a part of for years, even before he owned the station. Grew up in radio. Um, my uh, One of my first jobs, and I worked my way through the University of Tennessee selling radio advertising uh, for WJBE. Uh, James Brown owned it. Armstrong bought WJBE about 10 years ago and says things have been going well. Never had a complaint uh, from a, a listener, a vendor. We've never had a complaint from the FCC. Until now, the Federal Communications Commission is threatening to take away Armstrong's broadcast license because of a tax conviction that happened years before he took over the station. Armstrong says he's paid his debt to society and served three years probation. He believes that he and the community should not be punished for something that happened years ago. In Knoxville, I'm Jacinta Render.